Okay, this computer has two hard drives and those hard drives are set in RAID mode. In the computer is starting Windows 10's installation kit from a USB flash drive and only the two SSD drives are connected. Those two are connected in RAID 0 and the hard drives will not be visible until I will load a driver. I don't have a product key. Okay, Windows 10 Pro 64-bit, I accept the terms, custom installation and nothing here. Where do you want to install Windows? No hard drives, no partitions, nothing is visible. Okay, so let's go here to load driver. So load driver, browse for those drivers. Okay, that's the USB flash drive and here's the folder which contains the drivers. There are two folders here, let's try the first one and click OK. And it displays two options, let's try the first one next. And it might not work with the first one and then you can select the next one. Plus there's another folder there so nothing was detected. Let's go back to load drivers, browse same folder ok this time it's showing us three not just two let's try the second one next nothing we couldn't find any drives browse once again into the same folder let's select the third one driver 8.1 ok next And yes, the two 120 gigabyte hard drives are recognized as one single drive and it says unallocated space, so let's just install Windows there. Click on the next button and Windows 10 is being installed from a USB flash drive onto a RAID array. From the flash drive onto two hard drives. Those two drives are recognized as one single larger disk. It stayed quite a lot and the first step the LED was not blinking but the hard drive LED was constantly on maybe it was formatting the disk